everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. Today we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into charcoal. Now again, if you don't have charcoal, you could use a crayon for this technique. And we're going to be doing a rubbing. We're going to be using some torn paper to do a rubbing and to get this kind of value kind of study. So we're going to be taking one piece of paper as our canvas, as our surface, and then another piece of paper that we can rip up and play with our different tonal effects. So go grab two pieces of paper and your charcoal and let's get started. So if we're playing with our texture charcoal, we're going to want our base drawing as well as a scratch piece of paper that we can rip up. And we're going to do a few different rips. We don't have to use the same paper every single time, but I do want you to think about some interesting lines. Don't just rip haphazardly. Do try to think about the shapes you're creating. Maybe we could do curved lines, more severe edges. We don't need to rip a bunch. We can reuse our rips. Then we're gonna be taking our charcoal and we're going to be rubbing our edges. Now you could use tape along your edge so that way you don't have the smudging going everywhere. It is nice to control your edge, but this is not necessary. You could even choose to do it differently, like maybe a smaller box. And I'm just lining up the edge of my tape with the edge of my paper so I have a nice straight line. I could choose to do it on all four sides or only on two. And I'm lining this edge. I'm not going down here. I'm not going at an angle. I'm going nice straight across. Once you have your tape down, now we can take our paper and we can start to do our rubbing. I'm going to hold my pencil more at the side. And I'm just following this edge. Now I could use my finger. I don't have to use the pencil the whole time. I want you to be creative when you're putting this down. Every line you make is part of your art. We could always go back and be subtractive. So we have our first one. Think about where do you want your next one? Do we want a different line? You could turn this into a horizon or a landscape. You could even introduce maybe like a crayon on its side. That way you could have other colors. We can even just move it down slightly, do the same shape again to have a parallel line, but just have a ghost of it. I kind of like how that's looking. Maybe I do that one more time. And I'm just using my finger for this, but you could use a paper. Oh, I love how that's looking. So now I could do another shape. And you can go till you're happy with it. You have to know as the artist when your art is done. That is one of the hardest things to know. And don't forget you can still use your eraser. If you don't like something or you want to do a subtractive element, there's no right and wrong with this. And we're just going to keep on going. So I think I'm pretty happy with it. I like how my lines are kind of coming through like this. Maybe I could even give it a little bit more of a focal point by doing a really dark one here. But notice how I haven't sharpened my pencil. 
try not to sharpen your charcoal pencil too often because it really doesn't matter whether it's pointed or dull for a project like this <clears throat> because it's so additive and subtractive you don't have to worry about that too much and they sharpen so quickly and you don't want to waste the supply so then you could use this as your background you could add something on top of it we could go in with watercolors there's really no end with this you could go for as long as you want with this kind of process And you can even go back and make some spots darker. Because remember what I said about that grayscale? We want every drawing to have the really dark and the really light. So once you think you're done, now we can peel off our tape. But you might want to wipe off your hand first. And we have that nice, clean, crisp edge. Do this gently, because you don't want to rip up your paper. There we go, our finished charcoal drawing. So I hope you had fun doing your textural charcoal, really just loosening yourself up and seeing what you can do with it, the different values you can get in this kind of abstract art. Now you could take this and make like a flower out of it. You can add watercolors to it. This could just be the start of your project or it could be the finished thing. Really see where it takes you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you get notified every time I post a new video. Hope to see you next time. Bye friends.